Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another Ooyah video today. Let's see, what do I want to look at today? How about um, Spudnik Panic? Let's see what this is about. Spudnik Panic, mm-hmm. Zero Spuds. What? Push? Uh, hold on. Full game is uh, two dollars. Release. Do nothing. Oh, I see. Ha! It's an orbit simulator. Oh, so you're. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't go outside the circle. Why can't I? I could have a higher orbit than that. I call shenanigans. Anyway, so yeah, this is actually a fun little. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you bastard. I love these. I One of the first games I bought on my cell phone was. Uh, I think I got orbit there. Yes. Uh, what, do they crash? Can I crash them into each other? Anyways, one of the first games I had was actually a little gravity simulator. Where you just tap and you create a sun and then you f f fling rocks at it. And it, you know, depending on how many, how long the tap was, it depends how big it was. And um, basically you just throw as many as you want. And it was a nice little gravity simulator. So you could like have a meteor shower going towards the sun. And it actually would, s some of them would crash into each other, form bigger objects. And it would actually form planets like a proper gravity simulator. It used to eat the hell out of my battery because it was a... Uh, heavy math complicating. I mean cuz it I got low orbit. Come on Look at that so yeah, it was ah, it was always fun to see by the way in a uh, in um Kerbal space program. I've actually got uh, Someone to orbit right now. I'll be doing a video on that if I haven't already released it Depending on when I release this video. Oh, it's gonna be close See if I could keep you in high orbit. Ah, uh, too much momentum. I gotta remember. Uh, oh, I took out one of my. So they can crash into each other. Just let, let gravity do its work. If yeah, you know, like I said I could give it a little bit of push, but the when it falls back towards Earth, it'll actually pick up momentum. Was it? That was supposedly the orbit they used to uh, put uh, stuff into. Ooh, close into a uh, outer planetary orbit uh, oh what hold on I got some kind of reward uh, what was I saying the thing they used to get planets ooh into uh, the outer planets was actually solved by someone using a uh, oh this kind of method in a math class well they actually figured use the earth rotation to fling an object into uh, orbit, I mean, into the outer planets. So like when they go to Jupiter, Pluto, or any of those, even uh, Mer uh, Mars most of the time, they do a orbit around, ah, uh, around the uh, Earth first. Now I'm getting sloppy. Actually, so what does this do? Oh, just, those are just achievements. There we go, that would be enough. I'm assuming the next achievement's at 10. Which I imagine would be pretty impressive getting 10 of these guys without hitting each other. That's the real problem now, is there's so many, uh... Oh, you get combos for hitting objects. There's uh, so much debris in space right now it's actually hard to find empty spaces to like launch stuff through. I'm just taking down all the satellites now. Then again, I still haven't seen gravity, by the way, so I don't know what that was about. That's no, good. I still haven't seen it. I know I have an idea what it's about. What if I just never let go? What did, did the other buttons do anything? No. So this is 
fun games. How many can you get into orbit? Again, I still have fond memories of that first app because it was purely a science toy. Just making object and you could put like multiple suns on top of each other in to simulate deeper and deeper gravity to a point where you could almost make uh, gravity wells so strong anything you threw at it wouldn't escape I don't know if you do black holes type uh, uh, oop, that's gonna be yeah uh, type gravity wells there we go Ah! Scrape the skies! Alright. So yeah, I want to play more of the Kerbal Space Program because it is really fun. So I'll be doing more of that in the future. Because I love science. <laughs> now I'm filling up the sky. Oh, too clutch. I'm surprised none of these guys have hit each other yet. Okay. There we go. Oh, I was just about to go into orbit. I keep going, to, releasing too early, trying to get it to, um, uh, woe is me. How many spaceships have I wasted? Ah, uh, so yeah, escape velocity, then, ah, uh, how low can I go? I'm going to try to do a low Earth orbit. Oh, I think I took a, oh, one that was a low Earth, Earth orbit. Uh, take that, NASA. I could do what you can with an O button. That's good. There we go. Oh, that's probably going to be too elliptical. Comment below if you can name me Kepler's uh, laws of... Planet rotation, come on. Whoo, boy. That's getting crowded up there. So I'm up to seven now. There's an empty space right there. Too much juice. Ah, uh, I knew that would happen. Okay. All right, stay in that orbit. Okay. Oh, come on. Can I take any of my stuff down? Hit it! By the way, I wonder what they're actually saying in the background. I just hear Houston occasionally. Oh, well. So we can reset. I see. Very fun. Very fun. Again, I'm a sucker for those science toys. What do you get if you buy it? This will destroy... Huh. So what do you get when you buy the full game, I wonder? Hmm. Again, but I'm thoroughly enjoying that just because I love those little simulators about gravity and stuff like that. You know, just to play around to see if you can make planets orbit the sun or in this case satellites orbit a um, Earth-like body. Oh, uh, that's why I love Kerbal Space Program. Now, admittedly, I'm just having trouble getting into the air, but it's just fun when you play with s games with real physics, real science behind it. I, that just makes my day. <laughs> Anywho, so there's a quick look at the game. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time. <laughs> and we're back. Meanwhile, back at All of Justice, Aquaman was doing nothing.